What's up my YouTubers? Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today is Snack Crate Day, as you can see. I did open it. I didn't want to open it on camera and get in trouble because, yeah, we all know how that goes. So, uh, this month's Snack Crate is from the U.S. I'm not so much disappointed as a little bummed out. The whole point of me joining the Snack Crate subscription was to get snacks from around the world, not just the U.S. I'm from the U.S. I'm from New Mexico. I don't want American snacks, damn it. So, anyway, so this is what the card looks like. So basically it is, instead of just being snacks that are common in the, like the states, there's snacks for every state in here. Well, not every state, but yeah. Um, just a few. New Mexico's in there. New Mexico did make it in there. Michigan made it in there. Uh, California, of course. Idaho. Um, so, yeah. It's, like I said, I'm not disappointed. There are snacks in here that I haven't tried, so it's not a complete failure. So, gonna open it now it does come with the route 66 sticker and I know a lot of you may be familiar with the route 66 because it goes through a lot of different states New Mexico being one of them so without further ado we shall start so the first thing in here is these my cat just fucking fell off the bed Oh my god. Okay, so these first things are, um, where did the thing go? The Chesapeake Crab Chips. I don't think I'm going to like these. I probably will not be trying these. I will give these to my mother, probably. I don't know. It's, uh, the spicy, briny taste that makes crabs so delicious is now captured in chip form. From Virginia, Old Bay, am I right? So, there's these. And I don't think I want these. So, those are just going to go to the side because I don't do crab. And we're going to move on to the next bag of chips. This is from Michigan. These are from Michigan. They are barbecue chips. Um, and it says these spicy sweet chips from Michigan are more than just your average barbecue chips. Michiganders insisted they be included. So, they smell okay. They don't smell like barbecue chips, but oh my god, those are <coughs> Jesus. If I'm not choking myself, those are really good. Like, really good. They have... They have... You can taste the barbecue. But they also have a little bit of a spice to them. They have like a little tiny after spice. You guys, I will be right back. I need to get some water. I always forget water for these unboxing videos, so... What are you doing, my crazy kitty? Also, you guys, this isn't from Snack Crate, but I did get these uh, from the store the other day. These things are good. Uh, they're called Kodiak Cakes. Again, just so you don't... Kodiak Cakes. And this one is chocolate fudge. They're basically good for protein, too, but they're... Uh, if you For those who don't have, like, an oven or anything to bake... Rogue. Um, you can use those in the microwave. You just pour water or milk, whatever it calls for, and microwave them for like a minute and a half, about. And you've got cake or muffins, whatever you decide to get. Okay, moving on. 
moving on. So again, these were really good. They have a spice to them that like goes perfectly with them. So that's that's a thumbs up. Okay, next is a cookie from New York. It is a snack common to New York. This is, they're called Joey's Black and White. And that's what that is. It is a huge cookie. It looks, um, honestly, it looks like a donut. Like a deep fried cookie. It says these soft and fluffy cookies from New York will put you in an empire state of mind. My boyfriend got that damn song stuck in my head. It says separate the sides or eat them as one. It's all up to you. I had to do this unboxing video so you guys can watch the snacks and stuff. I personally do not feel good right now. My stomach is bothering me. Rogue! For those of you guys that do not know, I am sick. I have Lyme disease, so a lot of the time I'm hurting or I'm really sick, So, and right now I'm sick. I do not feel good at all. So, but I gotta give you guys content, so we are going to just bite where I could get both sides. That's what it looks like. It smells like just straight up chocolate. It smells like a pastry. <laughs> it smells like a donut. So I'm... Jesus. I'm just going to take a bite from the middle here so I get both um, both sides. Hopefully this does not taste bad. Ooh. It's not bad. It's just really sweet and that does not feel good on my teeth. It's good. Just super, super duper sweet. And I don't do super sweet right now. I gotta make sure. <laughs> oh my god. Please ignore the fact that I had chocolate in my tooth when I smiled. Okay, guys. Moving on. Idaho Spud. From Idaho, of course. Um, they do sell these in New Mexico. So, I have seen these here in New Mexico, but I have not tried them. I was not sure what it was. It said Idaho Spud. And I, like, that's like a potato. So, I was like, I don't... Rogue. Can you stop being nosy, please? Guys, don't get a cat. They're nosy. Anyway, this, this is the candy bar that put Idaho on the map. That's a stretch. But the fluffy, chocolatey flavor infused with coconut flakes is heavenly. So I was under the assumption that this candy bar was marshmallow, which I'm not a huge fan of. I think it is marshmallow. Oh, it is marshmallow. You guys, I really don't think I want to eat this one. Um, for those of you who do not know what the Idaho Spuds look like, that's what it looks like. It's got marshmallow cream in there. I'm not going to eat this one, guys. I don't do marshmallow. I'm not going to eat this one. I don't do marshmallow. It's nasty. Um, it smells good. I can smell the coconut and I can smell the chocolate, but it just marshmallow kills it for me. So we are moving on to the Buckeyes. These are from Ohio. They're called Marsha's Homemade Premium Quality Buckeyes. They are chocolate and smooth creamy peanut butter. I don't know how many. Oh, there's three pieces here. I don't know if I'm going to eat a whole one because I'm not, like, again, like I said, I'm only tasting them. I don't want to eat them. 
due to my stomach being the way it is, but these might, they might literally resemble a buck's eye, but these chocolatey peanut butter balls from Ohio are so creamy they melt in your mouth. So, we will try it. Again. So, just so you guys know, uh, because I know in past videos I've had like more than just a taste, Today is just not my day. Okay, so obviously today is not my day because I cannot open these. Mm. That does not resemble any kind of eye to me, guys, but that's what they look like. And honestly, they kind of smell like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Ugh, the peanut butter is killing me. I am not going to eat these either. I may do a video where I do actually try all the things other than the crabs. Crab chips and the Idaho spud. I'm not doing the marshmallow. But I may do a video where I do just try all that stuff. Because my stomach is killing me. My head, too. Making things up. Uh, less than desirable okay so this next thing is called it's called Aunt Sally's pralines this is these treats from Louisiana are a stretchy cluster of buttery caramel or caramel however you guys say it and crunchy pecans so don't forget to bring a toothpick this is New Orleans most famous praline they make these fresh daily and this is delivered to your door collar click if you guys are new in, in New Orleans. So, that is awesome. And it's, it's this, for those of you that don't know what pralines are, pralines are like nuts, and this is caramel. These are Creole pralines, so it's a candy. It's like, like it said, it's caramel and pralines. That's all it is. And they're very good, but they're very, very stretchy, and they do get stuck in your teeth, so. Yeah. Um, okay, this next one, moving on, these are called Goo Goo Clusters. If I could, and they're... What is with the freaking states and their marshmallow? This is Ooey Gooey Candy Clusters from Tennessee, filled with caramel, peanuts and marshmallow and coated in chocolate. Whoa! People in their damn marshmallow treats. You guys, it literally has instructions for how to enjoy. It says tear open, place in mouth, chew carefully. Always chew before swallowing. <laughs> okay, New Mexico y'all! Howdy! So, Moving on to New Mexico's, um, that should give you a, a, a clue as to what this snack from New Mexico is. It's a meat snack. It's elk jerky. I don't necessarily like elk. I like elk more than I like deer, so I will definitely be giving this one a taste. Probably not right now. Again, like I said, I'll probably make a, another video where I actually try the snacks when I'm feeling better. But this is from New Mexico. This is chewy and satisfying. These elk jerky sticks from New Mexico are packed with great flavor and protein. Jerk, uh, New Mexico is pretty good with jerky. Like New Mexico, because it's uh, also a mountain area and not just a desert area, we do get elk and deer and stuff like that here so we do go hunting um i would if i had the money but i don't right now so and i never draw anyway for the hunts and stuff so i just let everyone else do it and i'll buy the jerky that they make from their stuff but the jerky here in new mexico is actually very good i've had alligator jerky um i've had bear jerky i've had beefalo 
jerky made from a beefalo, which is a cow and a buffalo. So yeah, that was New Mexico's. California's is next. Howdy, California. Thank you, Callie, for your abazabas. Y'all know, if y'all know what an abazaba is, you all know that these little things are delicious. I don't normally like peanut butter, like, on, on, like, treats. Like, I'll do Reese's peanut butter cups or the cereal, or I'll do, like, peanut butter sandwiches and stuff, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But I don't normally like peanut butter and candy. So, for me to like Abba Zabba's, yeah. I like Abba Zabba's. All right, we got three more things, guys. This next one I'm actually kind of psyched about. I hope that I really end up liking it. It is ahi tuna jerky from Hawaii. Um, and tuna jerky is a traditional Hawaiian snack. And this one has a zesty, sal salty flavor, making it a great fuel-up bite. So it's called Kaimana Jerky. It's tuna jerky. Lemon salt. And it was it is made with 100% wild-caught tuna. And they are... Again, it says, from Hawaii, USA. And this is just the lemon salt. They have lemon salt peppered original teriyaki honey glazed Hawaiian warrior that I guess a honey glazed Hawaiian warrior sounds interesting so it's 23 grams of protein sustainably caught and good source of omega 3s it says the people of Hawaii have sustained their families and respected the Pacific Ocean's powerful life force for centuries in the Hawaiian language, Kaimana translates to power of the sea, Ka which is the name of the brand, Kaimana Jerky. Kaimana Jerky has embraced the ancient art of drying fish to give our jerky a great taste for the modern lifestyle. Our variety of ahi tuna jerky is delicately prepared, dried to perfection, and seasoned with quality ingredients. Handcrafted with aloha for 25 years. You guys that don't know what aloha is, um, aloha means hello, but it can also mean love. So, that is the tuna jerky. Arizona gets a little, gets a, a spot in here too. So, these are cactus candies, They're called cactus candy. They're small jelly gummies from Arizona made from real prickly pear cactus. Those of you who have not tried the prickly pears, y'all are missing out. Prickly pear is so freaking good. Once you can get all the little like the little pricklies off of it and all the pokies and stuff, and you can cut it and skin it, they are delicious. And I love making jelly out of the prickly pears. Uh, they're small, tangy, and sweet, which makes them the perfect snack on the go. And this, you guys, is the cactus candy. It feels like a little... I, like, don't want to open it, but I'm going to so I can show you guys. Ooh, that's cute! That's the cactus candy, guys. Mmm, it smells so good. Those of you who have not tried prickly pear have got to try it. I insist. Prickly pear is delicious and is juicy and is very, very refreshing. So, the last thing in the box, guys, is our drink option. And it is from Kentucky. Um, it is called Ale 8 1. It's, a, it's fizzy with a touch of ginger. It says this zesty soda from Kentucky is a great thirst quencher. Quencher, geez, I can't, or maybe a chaser. So, that's the drink. Ale 8 1. So, if you run, here's a little thing. If you run the, the name of this drink, Ale 8 1, all together really quick, it says A late one. Ale 8 1. A late one. See? I liked that. It's Ale 81. And then it says 
crisp, clean ginger with a hint of citrus. Oh, I, guys, I don't like ginger ale. I'm hoping that this isn't that bad. I will drink it if it isn't bad. But it says that with one sip, you're there, right in the middle of everything that's great about bluegrass country. The free spirit, the thirst for something beyond the ordinary, and a trek off the beaten path. Handcrafted using a recipe passed down through four generations, our story is uncommon. Open an ale eight and live your uncommon story. So, yeah. Got that. Real quick before I end this video, guys. Excuse me. I wanted to give you guys a couple trivia questions. And hopefully you guys comment below if you guys know the answer, if you think you know the answer. And I will let you guys know if you're right or wrong. So, the first trivia question is, what state's nickname is the first state and it's not Washington that's all I'm gonna say it's not Washington number two which states Latin roots mean arid zone you guys arid zone tell me what it sounds like and number three tornado alley is made up of what states and there are four of them so let me know down in the comments if you guys think you know what the answers are and I will let you know so I really hope that you guys liked today's unboxing um, I am like I said I will be doing another video where I actually test the food I'm just not feeling it right now so thank you guys I really hope that the snacks were interesting and that it leads you to subscribe to Snack Crate because you guys, it's totally worth it. I love Snack Crate. I love being a part of it. And I hope that you guys will take the initiative and be a part of it too. So thank you guys for watching my video today. Tune in for the tasting video. And I will see you guys all then. I love you guys so much and I hope you guys have a good one. Mwah.